What's new in Cisco Nexus Dashboard Release 2.1? This release of Nexus Dashboard adds the following features shown in this video. First time setup wizard. One view visibility and administration across multiple clusters. LDAP validation. Nexus Dashboard and Services Help Center, including API docs. In addition to the features you're about to see, this release also includes the following features. The first time setup wizard simplifies and streamlines most common tasks after the initial cluster deployment is completed. When you first log in to a brand new ND cluster, you can start the setup from the What's New window. The basic configuration allows you to add the sites which you want to use with the services running your cluster and provide any required proxy configuration. To add one or more sites, simply click Begin and Add Site. In the Add Site screen, provide the name, address, and login credentials as you typically would and click Save. Repeat the procedure for any additional sites. As you're adding sites, their status will change from onboarding to healthy in the list. If you don't add all the sites during this time, you can always do so later from the Nexus Dashboard's admin console. You can also provide the proxy configuration here or simply click Done to complete basic configuration. After the basic configuration is done, you can choose to create users, add remote authentication domains, see an overview of the entire system, or go directly to deploying services. While remote authentication capability itself isn't new to this release, you can validate remote authentication servers to check for connectivity or configuration issues. From the authentication servers details page, choose validate and provide a set of login credentials to check against the server. If everything is configured correctly, validation will succeed. If a connection is not available or the credentials are incorrect, the UI will return a message indicating the issue. One of the main features in this release is OneView, which provides a single pane of glass functionality across multiple separate Nexus dashboard clusters, allowing you to manage the clusters and services from a single location without having to log in to each one separately. To demonstrate this, we have two separate clusters side by side and we begin by logging into each one. Note that this feature is supported for remote authentication users only and we have to authenticate against the same domain, which we have pre-configured for this video. After we log in, we can see the two individual clusters with their own sites and services. In order to enable the OneView functionality, we have to connect the two clusters together, which we can do by navigating to one of the clusters multi-site connectivity tab in the cluster configuration page. We will designate this cluster as the primary and will use it to connect other clusters. To connect another cluster, simply click connect cluster and provide the remote clusters address and login credentials. Make sure to provide the remote authentication domain. After the clusters are connected, all the clusters in the group will be displayed in both UIs, although you may need to refresh the UI of the other clusters first. Once the clusters are connected, the Home button in either cluster will send you back to the OneView page, which now displays information across all clusters in the group. In this case, you can see all three sites, two onboarded in one cluster and one in another, as well as the insights and orchestrator services, which are installed in different clusters. In addition to the information shared across clusters in the OneView page, you can also administer any cluster in the group from any other cluster by selecting which cluster is being accessed by clicking the cluster's name. When we select a remote cluster, the admin console changes to that cluster, allowing you to see and manage the cluster-specific information, 
such as installed services, onboarded sites, and system resources. Since we have not navigated from the cluster docsova cluster in the right window, we can compare the information displayed for this cluster as logged in directly on the right and accessed remotely through the other cluster on the left. When we're done managing the cluster, we can change back to the cluster into which we are logged in directly simply by selecting it from the menu. Additionally, when multiple clusters are connected, you can view global cluster information using the multi-cluster dashboard, as shown here. While the OneView page provides easy access for dashboard users to the sites and services across all clusters in a group, the multi-cluster dashboard allows cluster administrators to view connectivity, status, and health of the clusters. And finally, a global help center that contains documentation and other resources that will help you get started and use the platform and its services. You can access the help center from the help menu at the top of the GUI. Here you will see a list of categories and relevant resources for the Nexus dashboard platform as well as additional tiles for all installed services which will take you to the service specific documentation. The REST API link will open an in-product API reference screen where you can view the Nexus dashboard and services APIs. Note that this release provides ND login APIs and APIs for the Insights service only. And as already mentioned, clicking a tile in the services area of the Help Center takes you to that services help page and resources. Thank you for watching.